And this is a Fox News alert, another big story we're following here in America's News Headquarters. The President of Israel is calling on the world to do whatever it takes to stop Iran from developing nuclear weapons. Iran, of course, repeatedly saying that its nuclear program is intended just for peaceful purposes. But there is a new report. Eric mentioned it earlier. It's coming from the U.N.'s nuclear watchdog group, and it's coming out this week. And it could challenge those claims. We may learn more than we've ever known. Joining us now, former State Department advisor Christian Whiteon. Good to see you, Christian. Thanks for being here today. Good to see you, Jamie. Thanks. They say it's going to be more information than we've ever had. We'll get a clearer picture of Iran's nuclear ambitions and what they actually have at this point. A foreign affairs specialist that I talked to last week said, you know, Iran's not as far along as we think they are. What do you think? Uh, I think there's a clear pattern that Iran is working on a nuclear weapon. Uh, there's, I think it strains credulity now with this latest report, at least what we know of the report, that Iran is pursuing the, uh, its nuclear program for energy needs instead of nuclear uh, weapons needs. You know, there is, it's believed that this IAEA report will reveal Iran working on a nuclear warhead. There's no plausible, peaceful use for that. And the other claims that their fuel cycle and uranium enrichment are for peaceful purposes also just doesn't seem to hold up. Um, so we know now that this is an ongoing program. It's a serious program. And clearly Israel is very concerned about it and also wants other people to be concerned about it. May in fact see this as one of a dwindling number of uh, opportunities to get the world to care seriously about what's going on in Iran. How accurate is our intel? Hmm. It's bad. Uh, it's also politicized. You may recall in 2007 there was a national intelligence estimate supposed to be highly classified, leaked immediately to the New York Times, that alleged that Iran had given up its nuclear weapons program in 2003. The report, the IAEA, report, uh, releases this week, and the IAEA isn't an intelligence agency. It has to uh, depend on information fed to it by governments, friendly governments often, but it'll show that the Iranian program was ongoing during that time. Time. So US, uh, the U.S. ability to spot the exact date at which Iran may be nuclear is poor. And if you need proof of that, also look at when North Korea crossed the threshold into becoming a nuclear power. We uh, uh, didn't do a terribly good job of, of, of estimating that and certainly not of preventing that. It feels like we've been here before, Christian. Time and time again, we get the IAEA back in there. We get them inspecting. We get these reports. And what happens next? More sanctions that Iran thumbs its nose at? What do you expect? Probably. It does feel a lot like 2007, 2008, when you had increased concern about the Iranian nuclear program. And also, as with today, you had rumors that Israel was uh, planning a preemptive strike. That's unlikely for a couple of reasons. First of all, we wouldn't be hearing public ruminations if Israel was prepared to do that. And second of all, the Iranian program doesn't lend itself toward a single precision strike that destroys the whole program, which actually was the case in Syria and in Saddam Hussein's uh, Iraq. So uh, there's a difference, of course, between 07, 08 and today. At least then, it was plausible that the president, George W. Bush at the time, might strike uh, Iran and might at least delay the program uh, through military means, but that no longer is the case. Instead, we're looking at sanctions, more sanctions, prolonged sanctions that don't seem to work, combined also with a continued outstretched hand in negotiations. You know, I've sat in this chair, Christian, and I've had Israeli officials tell me that they will strike that they're ready to go and that they have the capability to take out these nuclear sites, if we even know where all of them are. W what, do you, what does the U.S. need to do? How involved do we need to get and how big a threat is the situation right now to us? Mm -hmm. Well, that's an important point because it's not just about Israel. In some ways, Israel may be the canary in the mine shaft in the sense that Iran may target them on their way to targeting us. And in fact, Iran already targets us. They killed a great number of Americans in Iraq and they've killed Americans around the region. There are only two ways to reasonably prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapons capability or nipping the program in the bud. One is a sustained military attack against most of or all of Iran's nuclear sites. But the other is allowing the people of Iran to liberate themselves from this regime. A democratic Iran would not want a nuclear weapons program, contrary to the conventional wisdom. If you look at other instances where repressive countries have flipped to uh, freedom or something resembling it, South Africa, Ukraine, or even Libya today, they will get rid of their nuclear weapons, WMD aspirations. Last question before we go. I asked Leland Vitter this because he's there in the region. My question is, Israel has a lot of confidence. Do they have the capability? Mm -hmm. 
It's hard to know. There is one particularly juicy target in Iran. It's the Natanz uranium enrichment facility. That The, the nearest path to a nuclear weapon uh, is if you have enough uranium to make a bomb. It's a much simpler bomb than a plutonium bomb. And most of uh, Iran's enrichment takes place at Natanz, but not all of it. Nonetheless, if you could disable that target, and, and it's well defended and well armored, but if you could do that, you would at least buy more time for the green movement. So that is something Israel probably could do. But again, we wouldn't be hearing about it in public if it were imminent. All right, it's tentatively scheduled to come out November 9th, this report. Thank you so much, Christian.